Hello, I'm Brett Hickey, the founder and CEO of Starmount Capital. I'm excited to be here today with Teresa Boyce, Chairman and CEO of the CEO Trust, a by invitation only national organization of CEOs where CEOs come together to help each other through peer advisory, camaraderie, counsel, and referrals. Teresa brings unique career experience to leading a CEO organization. She started as a CPA with KPMG. She did her MBA at Wharton, graduating with both a finance and marketing degree. She then later on did brand management for Procter & Gamble, which moved her onto a path of entrepreneurship within a big company and ultimately entrepreneurship. She has run many professional membership organizations from her undergrad, where she started the Business Club, to 10 years on the Wharton Alumni Board. CEO Trust brings together what entrepreneurial spirit is, helping CEOs share experiences, ideas, and learning lessons to ultimately avoid mistakes, build better businesses, and enjoy more fruitful lives. Today, we're going to really talk about the value and how to and why to and what to avoid in building a board. Why should you create a board for your company? How should you do it? What are some considerations to try to avoid? And how can Teresa's company, the CEO Trust, help you in doing that? So Teresa, with that, thank you for being with us today. We're excited for you to share some of your uh, learnings and in, in, in combination with the number of people in your organization, really hundreds of years of learnings all kind of bundled together in one. So uh, really excited for the content and everything to share with people today. Um, Thank you. Pleasure. <laughs> the f first question is, what is some of the value for somebody in creating a peer advisory board? Why, why should somebody want to do that? Well, the, the most impactful reason is, is business results. Uh, you know, a, uh, a peer advisory board is really hard to beat. Mm -hmm. When you get a set of CEOs who have been carefully selected specifically for you and your business, it's impactful. So um, a, a, about a week ago, we, uh, we had a, uh, an advisory board meeting for an online education business. And uh, it's a great business. Uh, they were uh, growing nicely, plateaued. And so they were like, how do we break through? How do we get to that next level? And so um, their board got together. It's a complex business. Um, they, had, they have three business units. Um, they are all distinct. They all have a different target. They all have different competitors. They have a different offering for each. And so it's complicated. And after that meeting, the CEO and the COO told me, we so appreciate this board and what they did for us. Uh, we were impressed with the laser-like focus of these CEOs drilling down on the really pertinent issues of what drive our business and our results. And they walked out of that meeting not only with a, a better focus themselves on how to use their available resources to grow their business to that next level, but with some surprising insights they didn't really anticipate uh, for their business. That's great. So being able to have a peer of other CEOs and business owners that have likely faced similar challenges can bring a fresh perspective and really help work through those challenges and, as you say, sometimes even come up with new ideas by taking that step back from people that, you know, really are the right type of CEOs with the right type of experience, which you guys help put together to bring that thought leadership and help inspire ideas to to build better businesses that's uh, fantastic I know uh, one of the other organizations that I've been a member of for just over a decade is the young presidents organization YPO um, and that's a similar type of thing where we have a a bit of a peer advisory board on both a personal and a business level and it's been tremendously impactful uh, to my life and mm -hmm. um, you know that business model fits a few people whereas yours is also open to a, a broader group so that's that's a great example uh -huh. around that um, let's get into now, now that we know why, at the end of the day, it's to build better businesses and drive the bottom line. Um, how do you go about creating an advisory board? Well, we, we really begin with understanding that CEO, uh, their board and their leadership team, the stage of business, you know, what stage of growth they're in, 
And then most importantly, perhaps, is where do they want to go? Mm -hmm. And with that, we then develop profiles. What are the profiles of the fellow CEOs that could best propel that business? And with that, we recruit them from the, from the CEO trust. Uh, we have a, um, a building materials company that's uh, facing some strategic questions over the next couple of years. And um, they have some kind of burgeoning opportunities too, like selling on Amazon. And so we created an advisory board for them and we pulled in a consumer packaged goods CEO. So oh. you know she knows that Amazon channel really well. Um, we pulled in a hedge fund manager who's also an entrepreneur. Hmm. We pulled in a, um, a person that uh, grew up in the GE culture, so he knows mm -hmm. operations and finance well. Uh, a, a, a female CEO who is running, she's an engineering background, running a technology business that also sells to the government. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is a pretty diverse team. In addition, we found that diversity of geography helps. Mm -hmm. And so um, we've pulled, uh, that crew comes from Texas, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, New York, and Florida. So you know some geographic diversity. There's ethnic diversity and uh, sex diversity as well in that particular board. But that's what we're looking for. We're looking for, let's pull together, focused on what you need and want and what's gonna drive your business, but let's bring really different thought into that process. Let's try to bring different industries, very different backgrounds into, the, into that board. That's very helpful. And, and your point on question one is where do you want to go if you have a CEO that says, look, I, what I really want to do is transition to my children, or a CEO that says, really, I, my plan is to sell in a couple of years or grow, as in this case, in that capacity and drive into a new growth channel uh, figuring out the right type of people with the right backgrounds and experience who have, I'm sure, learned things <laughs> through their challenges in, in accomplishing that are incredibly different, how you put that together. And the second thing I think was valuable in what you mentioned is how we think about diversity, which isn't just the, the sex origin of a person or the color of our skin, but what are the backgrounds and experiences that people have? And geographies, people are going to generally have different perspectives and how they think about the consumer landscape and so forth. So that's another uh, good insight into the value of diverse thinking and different backgrounds to form the best decisions possible. Um, now, in creating these boards, what are some of the things that you think can be the most impactful and for uh, our audience out there, how can they create their own board should they, shouldn't they, how, how can they go about thinking about how to create their own board? Um, obviously they can get in touch with you to help them. What are some of the other things they should be thinking about? Well, creating your own board is, um, is tricky. The most disastrous thing I've seen <laughs> is inviting some of your friends yeah. onto your Start board. Start with what or, not to do, right? Right, yeah. right. <laughs> so friends or colleagues, uh, you know, you won't get the diversity of thought that you were hoping for. And um, you can end up losing some friends. So it's better to have uh, you know, a professional board put together that's, um, that's with you and your business in mind. Uh, so we have a, um, we have a small, uh, very entrepreneurial, frozen dessert company uh, that, um, that in their first year had a lot of, of turmoil. You know, uh, entrepreneurial businesses often do. <laughs> Um, but um, they are not national. This is very, very small, very regional. They had an inquiry from Asia, from a distributor who wanted to have their product in Asia. Hmm. Well, my initial reaction to that was, that's crazy, we're not even national. Well, fortunately, we had some folks on that board with more international experience than me, mm -hmm. who said, uh, well, let us check this, uh, let us check this out. And um, one of the board members, uh, he was the president of TGIF Fridays International. Mm -hmm. So it was easy for him to pick up the phone, call, check out this distributor, they were legit. And actually the distributor you would choose if you were gonna go into that market. Yeah. So that little business now, they are exporting to a market in Asia and that's going to help them fund their U.S. growth. Whereas it could have been very easy to just say no to that because of lack of information, yes. having people that can help you 
navigate and make the right decision, which, you know, if you have the right, um, what do they say, luck, uh, luck favors the prepared. Right. You know, that could be very lucky that somebody that's looking to distribute a product like yours knocks on your door and says, I'm ready to go, whereas I'm sure chasing other things like that could also be distractions it, and exactly. you need the people to help you. Right, to, right? to balance a kind of that. Value. Right. The other thing that's happened with that business in particular is they're, um, they're at their year point mm -hmm. of uh, their board. And so we've discovered that businesses change a lot in a year. And so at the end of a year, we take a fresh look at that board to say, where are you going next year? <laughs> and how can we create a board for you for the next year? And we will cycle off one or two of those CEOs on a routine basis at a year point. Now, because they're in the trust, those CEOs who cycle off, they're happy about it. Sure. They actually helped this business for the last year, and there, it, there is a different expertise that's needed now because of their help. Mm -hmm. And so they'll go and they'll join another advisory board where their help is really needed. And so there's a, there's a warm um, camaraderie there that maintains and carries forward. When those two run into each other mm -hmm. at a future CEO Trust event, they're glad to see each other and catch up. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, yeah. And, and the needs change, right? The needs yes. of a business are ever evolving for a whole multitude of factors. So that's a that's really a unique system that you've set up there for people to tap into the right resource at the right time, understanding that a business and its needs are dynamic. Yes. Um, well, you know, thank you, uh, Teresa. These are great tips and insights. Um, as you know, uh, we value the collaborative ecosystem environment as we've trademarked here at Star Mountain and what the CEO Trust really brings together in that thought leadership I think is a, a very intelligent and valuable business model that we hope many people will learn to take advantage of. I know here at Star Mountain um, we help with our businesses as a value-added lender as one of our verticals helping businesses further professionalize and get to the next level including building better boards to help give them mm -hmm. insights uh, building the right KPIs and measurements and the right strategy to execute execute against so that they can be a safer, more valuable business uh, down the road. And even for myself personally, I think a lot of us in finance are good at evaluating other people, but we don't often you know, turn the mirror on ourselves and, and look at our own business. I've actually created advisory boards for technology-related matters, for HR-related matters, for industry-related matters, and I found it incredibly valuable. It's a lot of time and effort, but the value is uh, you know, really tremendous from my perspective. So I'm sure you've continued to create a lot of value for businesses, and I hope other people take advantage of that. Um, so thank you very much for being with us today. Uh, we'll put on the board here ways that people can get in touch and learn more about your business. And uh, we wish you continued luck in finding other ways of working together. Thank you. Thank Perfect. you, Brad. Thanks, Teresa. It's really a pleasure to be here and be with you. Great. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.